In this module, you will learn about cattle farming. The increase in the human population has led to a rise in the demand for meat. Livestock production needs to gear up to meet this higher demand for hygienically produced milk, meat, eggs and other animal produce such as honey. How do we ensure that these needs are met? These needs can be met through the practice of animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is the farming and management of animal livestock. Along with cows, cattle include buffaloes, goats and sheep. The practice of rearing cattle by providing facilities for raising livestock is called cattle farming. Two major species of Indian cattle are Bos indicasar cows and Bos bubilizer buffaloes. Cattle farming is done for milk production and agricultural work. Milk producing female animals are called milch or dairy animals. Agricultural work involves tilling, irrigation and carting. Male cattle used for such farm labor are called draught animals. Dairy animals are used for milk production at a farm. Milk production depends, to some extent, on the duration of the lactation period. What is lactation period? The period following the birth of a calf is called the lactation period because during this period, high milk production is observed. By lengthening the lactation period through hormonal stimulation, milk production can be enhanced. What are the management practices in cattle farming? Regular brushing and washing is performed to remove dirt and loose hair. Shelter facilities include well-ventilated roofed sheds to protect cattle from rain, heat and cold. Animal feed is of two types. Feed with high fiber content called roughage for energy and concentrate feed that is feed containing low fiber and high protein content for increasing body weight. Cattle need to be reared with the proper practices described just now. If not, they get infected with diseases. Diseases in cattle are caused by external and internal parasites. External parasites live on the skin and cause skin diseases. Internal parasites like worms affect the stomach and intestine. Liver fluke, an internal parasite, often damages the liver of cattle. Infectious diseases are often caused by bacteria and viruses. How does the cattle farm handle these threats? The cattle farm has set up a proper disease control system. Shelters and other areas on the farm are cleaned and disinfected regularly. And vaccination against various diseases is provided to all cattle. Why do we need to crossbreed animals? Foreign and local breeds can be crossbred to raise animals with the desired qualities. For example, a foreign breed like a Jersey cow has a long lactation period. On the other hand, a local breed like a red Sindhi cow displays resistance to diseases. Therefore, crossbreeding them might lead to a new breed with a long lactation period 
as well as a strong resistance to diseases. 